Hey everyone, it's Alex and shout out to my panda right there that I won myself at La Ronde. So it's actually the first time I won anything, so I'm so excited. And I wanted I wanted my panda to be featured in this video. <laughs> so anyway, I am going to be showing you how to recreate this look. It's actually my go-to look. So it's gonna be kind of like a tutorial slash get ready with me. So I really hope you guys enjoy it and on to the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start by priming my face with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Face Primer. And this is going to help mattify my skin. So I'm applying it on my T-zone. So forehead, cheeks, nose, and chin. And now I'm going to prime my eyes, my eyelids, with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And this is going to help my eyeshadow last all day without creasing. Now moving on to eyebrows, I'm using a Maybelline eyebrow pencil in the color universal medium and I really love this pencil because it's very precise so it's great for filling in the eyebrows and shaping them. I will also be providing uh, the list of all the products that I'm using in this video in the description box so you know exactly which products I am using. So moving on to eye makeup, I am using my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and starting with the third color in the palette which is called WOS with a fluffy brush. I'm going to be applying it underneath my eyebrows as well as in my inner corner and then using what's left on my brush I'm going to drag it on the rest of my lid. So using a crease brush, I'm using the fourth color which is called Naked 2. It's a light cool tone brown and I'm using that on the outer part of my eye as well as in my crease as a transition color. And then using the next color which is called Faint, it's a dark matte brown and I'm using that in my crease to create depth. So it's really important to blend, blend, blend to make it look all nice. And using again my fluffy brush, I'm going to take the second color, which is called Foxy, just to blend uh, the edges. And going back with the crease brush and blending, blending, blending. Using my Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, I'm going to use the darkest brown and use that in the outer part of my lid with the crease brush. And then taking a light beige color. I want to take a fluffy brush and apply that on the two, two thirds of my lid. Then using the same color I'm going to take a smaller brush and apply that on the inner corner of my eye to brighten it up. Now taking an angled brush I'm going to use the shimmery brown that has gold undertones underneath my bottom lash line concentrating on the outer part. And then I'm going to take the two lightest golden colors that are still very shimmery on the inner part of my box. So now I'm using a gold eyeliner from Marcel and I'm applying it on my bottom waterline to make my eyes appear more open. Then using an angled brush, I'm going to use the black eyeshadow in the Naked Basics palette. It's a matte black and I'm lining my top lash line. I prefer using black eyeshadow as my eyeliner rather than liquid or cream eyeliner because I find that it, it creates a more softer look. After curling my eyelashes with an eyelash curler, I'm going to be applying my mascara. Moving on to fake lashes, I'm going to be applying some glue on my top lash line using a bobby pin. If you're interested, I also have a separate video explaining exactly how I apply my fake lashes. I am also going to be applying some eyelash glue onto the eyelash strip. Now 
then I'll wait until it becomes tacky. When applying my fake lashes, I start with the inner corner, pushing the lash strip onto my lid and pressing with my fingers, as well with the bobby pin to make sure that it sticks to my lid. And now, using my eyelash curler, I'm just going to squeeze once very lightly so that my real lashes and my fake lashes blend together. And then I'm going to be applying a light coat of mascara on my bottom lashes. Moving on to foundation, I like mixing my Olay Hydrating Cream with my BB Cream from Maybelline because I find that it creates a sheer coverage which I much prefer. I also always drag the foundation underneath my chin and a little bit on my neck. And now I'm going to set everything with some translucent powder. To add some color to my face, I am using this highlight slash bronzer from Marcel. And with a blush brush, I am applying some onto my cheekbones. As for my lips, I like to keep them pretty natural, so I always apply some chapstick and I apply this lipstick from Marcel. It's called Rose Impression and it's very similar to my lip color. Alright, so this concludes my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, thumbs up, comment below if you have any requests. And until then, I shall see you in my next video.